Hi everyone, we are getting started with week six and I wanted to walk through the assignments for the week to make sure that everyone knows what's going on. Um, so we will go ahead and scroll down to week six and the first thing that we're going to do is open up the labor number three project handout and then we will scroll down to week six so that we can see that what we're doing. So this week we are looking at a sample labor number three project. We're going to do a little bit of reading about evaluating some resources. And then for the writing this week, we are going to have the sample writing project, oops, sorry, the sample um, labor number three project discussion on Moodle, which will happen in the week six discussion forum. And then we will be working on our rough draft for the sample for the labor number three project. Sorry, um, I have some language from a previous semester left over, so I want to be sure that's clear to everyone. So we're working on the sample labor number three project discussion and the labor number three project workshop rough draft. So I wanted to review exactly what it is that we're doing with labor project number three. So remember, we'll scroll all the way up to the top because this gives us a, an idea of what the project should look like. So we've been working on different components of this project all along. Last week, you, you did an annotated bibliography. Um, and I wanted to remind everyone that this is an iSearch. This is not yet the research paper. This is a very important distinction. Um, do not try to stretch yourself out and write an entire research paper right now. That's not the assignment. The assignment that we're working on is doing some research and then writing about our research process, how it relates to our project, and how we think we're going to continue with the project. So you'll have a total of eight sources. Five sources should come from the gen from general library or and or library research. Two sources should be from academic articles. So we know that academic articles come from the library databases, the NPC library databases. And one source will be an other kind of source. So, so that could be an interview, it could be a TV show, it could be a YouTube video, it could be film, it could be music, it could be other media. I just want you to try to integrate some other kind of research into um, your project. So here we have, we've, we've got our topic sorted out, um, and then here I wanted to talk about the formatting guidelines because this is kind of like an outline you can follow. Um, you'll have four major sections plus an introduction and a conclusion. So you'll have the story behind your search, the results of your search, reflections on my search, and then the works cited page with all eight of your sources. And I also wanted to clarify that you can use the three sources from your annotated bibliography on this project. That's totally fine. Um, or you can find eight all new sources. It's totally up to you. Um, and then I've also given you a formula to adapt for your introduction and a formula for the conclusion. So I've given you an outline to follow here. So be sure to, to pay close attention to that. And remember that we're not yet writing our research paper. We're not writing yet about the exact problem or proposing solutions. We're writing about our research process and where we need to go from here. So, um, as I said, all of the assignments this week relate to, to that, and we'll be working on our um, rough draft. There's also the discussion. So remember, in the class discussion forum, we want to be sure to click discuss this topic. Don't click this button. Click this button to add your um, discussion. And you'll see the discussion this week just asks you to review the sample labor number three project and then reflect on a few questions about the about the about what you notice about the sample. Um, and then the rest of the time this week, you will have to work on your rough draft. And I've given you actually a little bit more time. The rough draft you can see here isn't due until Monday, week seven by 11.59 p.m. Um, so you'll have over the weekend to work on your essay, and then Monday you'll post your rough draft here, and I'll post a video about how to do that. So if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or drop into any of the three student hour sessions next week.